Alright, look at this game. How does it make you feel? Exactly. Sad, depressed, and questioning life. Right? No? Oh, so it made you think of cute oh, anime wanna. girls and waifus. Exactly. That's just what this game disguises itself as. I welcome you to the experience of Doki Doki Literature Club. Plus. Uh, yeah, I played the plus version because it gives you a little more content, but I'll explain that later. The original Doki Doki Literature Club released in 2017 and was a mysterious indie game developed by Dan Salvato. A few years later, after taking the world by storm, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus released in 2021, adding extra features such as more music tracks, unlockable promo images, and most importantly, additional side story content content to continue the incredible story that the game presents. Now if you're like me and the year is 2022 and you still somehow have not played this game, even though, hey buddy, yeah you there, you broke little buddy, you poor, poor little gerbil, the original version of the game is free, free on PC and it takes up hardly any storage at all. The download link will be in the description below. You're welcome. As I was saying, if you're like me and you've let 2022 come around and you haven't played Doki Doki Literature Club, well man, you are missing out. I'll avoid any key spoilers for the game itself, but considering the game warns you upon first starting it up that the game is not suitable for kids or anyone easily disturbed, it's pretty easy to guess that the game isn't just about four anime girls living a normal life in school. Oh no, it's far. Far from that actually. Personally, I've been on an anime high in the recent year or so, and after attending numerous anime cons and seeing a plethora of Doki Doki cosplayers, my curiosity continued to grow and I wondered what all the hype around this game really was. But now after finally playing, and of course, getting the platinum trophy, I can say all the hype behind this game is well deserved. The game is a visual novel, as it's 90% reading, 5% poem minigame, and 5% clicking a button to make a decision that affects the path you go down in the story. I won't spoil the major plot points of the story, but just know the game starts off all cute and gets you close to the four main girls, but be ready to have your heart ripped out and stabbed multiple times, as again, the game is really, really not suited for children. So yeah. Keep little Johnny away. Little Johnny, how about you go watch My Hero Academia instead, little kiddo? The great thing about this game is it's also pretty short, as a full run of the story in the base game could probably be completed anywhere from 4 to 5 hours, depending on how fast you read. If you're a completionist like me, get ready for multiple playthroughs as you experience every route and option that the game offers. But I will say, the skip button will definitely become your best friend late game. Now I strongly recommend getting the plus version of this game since the additional side stories the version brings along are 100% worth your time. As you progress through the main story in the base game, you will progressively unlock these additional side stories, and after you're left an emotional pile of goop when you finish the main story, these additional stories will put that smile back on your face and help strengthen the connection amongst each of the four girls. They all get a one-on-one -on -one side story with each other that is true truly wholesome and it adds a whole nother layer to the game's overall message. Since I am trying to keep this as spoiler free as possible, I guess I just can't really say much more about this game in this video. It's truly one of those experiences in gaming, very similar to Undertale I feel, that you just have to see for yourself and experience to fully understand. I can't recommend this game enough, and even though it's extremely simplistic in concept, I think it's bursted into my top 10 favorite games of all time just due to the amount of feelings and emotion the whole experience put me through while playing. So yeah, 
Go play this game. If you've already played, leave a spoiler free comment below about what you thought of the game and what you really enjoyed about it. Or maybe you didn't like the game, so please let me know down below what you did not like about this game. I would love to hear that as well. But alright guys, I'm going to go blast Gary Come Home from Spongebob on loop for the next few hours and cry over being done with this game because I'll never be the same after finishing this wild ride of a video game. Do yourself a favor and play Doki Doki Literature Club. Thank you guys for listening to my vent session because this video is pretty much my therapy session after my time at the Literature Club. So until the next one, stay radical and peace out. Most of the people are so close minded. They go into school and they work in a job, but they don't even like it. I won't be put in a box. Nobody telling me what I should rock.